Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Saj Alam. Welcome to Physics Mathematics Lab. Have you ever wondered why the classical model of the hydrogen atom fails? Let's solve exercise 1.32 from Nordin Zitli's quantum mechanics book to search for the answer of the above question. Exercise 1.32 According to the classical model of the hydrogen atom, an electron moving in a circular orbit of radius 0.053 nanometer around a proton fixed at the center is unstable and the electron should eventually collapse into the proton. Estimate how long it would take for the electron to collapse into the proton. Hint. Start with the classical expression for radiation from an accelerated charge dE divided by dt which is the rate of energy radiated and is equal to minus 2 or 3 e square a square divided by 4 phi epsilon naught c cube. e is the total energy and is equal to p square divided by 2m minus e square divided by 4 phi epsilon naught r which is equal to minus e square divided by 8 phi epsilon naught r where a is the acceleration of the electron and E is its total energy. We are given that classical expression for the power equal to minus 2 by 3 E square A square divided by 4 phi epsilon naught C cube, which is known as Larmor formula. The total energy E is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy and is equal to minus E square divided by 8 phi epsilon naught R. Required total time for the electron to spiral into the proton t according to the classical physics the hydrogen atom should collapse in an incredibly short time but clearly that doesn't happen so what's wrong with the classical model let's find out in the classical model an electron moves in a circular orbit around a proton just like a planet orbits the sun the force keeping the electron in orbit is the centripetal force which is actually the electrostatic attraction between the proton and the electron. This force acts like gravity in the solar system. But here is the problem. In classical mechanics, a charged particle moving in a curved path must emit electromagnetic radiation. This means the electron in the hydrogen atom is constantly losing energy. The rate of Radiated energy is given by the Larmor formula. The rate of radiated energy is actually the radiated power. As the electron loses energy, it should spiral inward and eventually crash into the proton. But how long would this take? Let's find out. Classical expression for the power radiated by an accelerated charge is given by the Larmor formula in classical electrodynamics. It states that the power P radiated by a non-relativistic accelerating charge E is given by P is equal to dE divided by dt which is equal to minus 2 divided by 3 E square into A square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught C cube. Let this is equation 1, where E is the charge on electron or proton, epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space, C is the speed of light, and A is the acceleration of the electron revolving around the proton. Here all the terms are constant except the acceleration. To estimate the collapse time, we first find acceleration by comparing the centripetal force and the electrostatic force. Centripetal force is represented by Fc and the electrostatic force is given by Fe. Fc is equal to minus mv square divided by r and electrostatic force is equal to minus e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square. Here minus sign shows that both these forces are towards the nucleus. As V square divided by R is equal to A, 
So we get MA is equal to E square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R square. A is equal to E square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught M R square. Taking square, we get A square is equal to E square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught M R square whole square. By simplification, we get A square is equal to E power 4 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught square M square R power 4. Putting the value of A square in the above equation 1, we get power is equal to minus 2 divided by 3 E square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught C cube into A square. After simplification, we get minus 2 divided by 3 e power 6 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught whole cube m square r power 4 c cube. The time it takes for the electron to lose all its energy and collapse into the nucleus is roughly the total energy E divided by the rate at which energy is being lost. So T is equal to total energy divided by energy loss rate. Putting values T is equal to E divided by dE by dt and is equal to E divided by P. So from the given hint we can write this as T is equal to minus E square 8 pi epsilon naught R divided by minus 2 divided by 3 into e power 6 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught whole cube m square r power 4 c cube. After simplification, we get the collapse time is equal to e square divided by 2 into 4 pi epsilon naught r multiplied by 3 by 2 4 pi epsilon naught whole cube m square r power 4 c cube divided by e power 6. Simplification gives t is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 pi epsilon naught square m square r cube c cube divided by 4 e power 4. Now putting the values we get t is equal to 3 into 9.11 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 31 whole square which is the mass of the electron into 0 0.053 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 9 whole cube which is the radius of hydrogen atom into 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 whole cube which is the speed of light divided by 4 into 9 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 whole square which is coulomb constant into 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 19 power 4 which is the charge on electron. Here, 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to 1 over 9 multiplied by 10 to the power 9. T is equal to 3 multiplied by 82.99 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 62 multiplied by 0 0.0001489 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 27 multiplied by 27 and multiplied by 10 to the power 24. 4 multiply by 81, multiply by 10 to the power 18 and multiply by 6.554, multiply by 10 to the power minus 76. After simplification, we get 3 into 82.99 into 0 0.001489 into 27, multiply by 10 to the power minus 62, 10 to the power minus 27 and 10 to the power 24 whole divided by 4 into 81 into 6.554 multiplied by 10 to the power 18 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 76. After simplification, we get 1.000934 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 65 divided by 2123.496 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 58. At the end, uh, we get 0 0.00471 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 7 seconds. Uh, in scientific notation, we can write this as t is equal to 4.71 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11 seconds. Thus, the total time for the electron to spiral into the proton is 4.71 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11 seconds. That is an incredibly short time 
According to classical physics, the hydrogen atom should collapse almost instantly. But we know that atoms exist and are stable. So what is missing? Quantum mechanics solves this mystery. Instead of classical orbits, electrons exist in discrete energy levels. They can only jump between these levels by absorbing or emitting energy in fixed amounts called quanta. This means the electron doesn't continuously spiral inward. Instead, it stays in a stable orbit unless disturbed. This is why hydrogen atom and all other atoms are stable. From the above discussion, we concluded that According to classical physics, the electron should lose energy due to emission of electromagnetic radiation and spiral into the nucleus in about 4.71 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11 seconds. This contradicts the observed stability of hydrogen atom. The Bohr model and quantum mechanics resolve this issue by introducing quantized energy levels preventing collapse. This failure of classical physics was one of the motivations for the development of quantum theory. If you found this interesting, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more physics insights. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.